everyone. I'm your host, Brittany Jones Cooper. Welcome back to Build Series. Part two of the chilling adventures of Sabrina is here and darker than ever. Today, I'm sitting down with Tati Gabrielle, the ringleader of the Weird Sisters and the head witch in charge at the Academy of Unseen Arts. But before we bring her out, here's a trailer for part. Please put your hands together for Tati Gabrielle. <laughs> I think like me and the rest of this audience are so excited to see you. We love Prudence. Thanks. And part two did not let us down. It got darker. The mm -hmm. stories got more intense. We got to see more of the backstories for the characters. Uh, what has the feedback like been like for you from the fans? Um, I've gotten really good feedback. Yeah. Um, a, a lot of yes queens. <laughs> and uh, um, I, the, cra the weirdest one that I've gotten is somebody told me to step on their neck, which I'm not oh. sure what that means. But it's a sign of I, love, I think. I think. I think so. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> um, but no, it's it's been it's been great. Like we've gotten amazing feedback, the whole cast. And so yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah. So let's talk about Prudence in this season because she's so tough and so serious and so dark. But we start to see a few more layers There's of her life. Down. Yeah, so take me through that process for you of getting those scripts and getting to kind of dig even more into her. Um, I was really excited to get to see, you know, like especially like because we were introduced to Prudence as a mean girl. Yeah. Um, and so to see that she has a softer side and kind of understand um, the effects that like not only orphanage has on a, a person, but even further neglect in the fact that once you find out who you're, who you're parent is they're like I don't want to I want to have anything to do with you um so yeah it was it as scripts started coming in and um uh watching uh, a prudence break down in this fight against Blackwood um was was uh I had to dig um I, I I definitely had to dig into my own emotions and and try to be able to bring that out to kind of serve her um and uh uh I was really happy especially coming to the end that she came into her own identity and, and started to realize like, maybe this isn't what I need, this man that obviously doesn't want me, but I have, I have, I had strength before this. Mm -hmm. I have the strength to carry on after this. Um, and I've already made a life for myself. So why not continue? That's why I'm so excited to see where Prudence goes because one of the huge themes of the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina is sort of challenging the patriarchy. Mm -hmm. And there's this female empowerment theme that is just strong throughout every story and every character. And we really start to see Prudence like coming into her own and right. sort of stepping out of that box. So how cool is that to have a show that is focused on you know, b building this world where women are strong and empowered and growing. Um, it's really inspiring, um, especially knowing that a lot of our audience is is the it's the teenage demographic. Yeah. So to be able to, to to pass that message to the our, the generation behind us and let them know, like, hey, it's cool and it's like right for you to stand up for yourself yeah. and for you to not back down to anything, especially during the time that we're in now. Like it's, it's so important, right? It's so important for, for women to, to feel that they have power, not just feel that they have, know that they have power. Cause what would the world be without women? Nothing. Nothing. Literally none of us would be Nothing. here. All you men out there, <laughs> watch out. Watch out. We'll put a spell on you. Real talk, though, we will. I want you to teach me some spells later. I got you, I got you. Um, so season two, obviously, a lot of us have binged it. Uh, for you, what was uh, your favorite scene or episode, a part that you really, you know, you couldn't wait for the fans to get to see? That's a hard one. It's hard. Um... I mean, of course, I was really excited for my whole sword moment <laughs> at the end of part two. Um, just really pumped for that. I was like, yeah, Prudence got weapons. She's going badass. Um, but um, I was also really excited for everyone to see um, the storyline between Prudence and Ambrose um, and the way that, you know, they c came together and then disconnected a bit and came back and how their lives align with one another to, to create that connection. You know, the fact that they both didn't have a father figure, had neglectful father figures. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and see both of them kind of go through this, through this journey together. Yeah. That was definitely fun. Do you, th what are your hopes for them as a couple? Because it sort of started off just as like a sultry love affair. Yeah. And it seems like it's maybe grown into something like a deeper friendship. Do you think it will continue? Um, I definitely think so. Um, I think, especially due to all that happened at the end of part two, um, I definitely think that and the trip that they're about to go on, I think that it will definitely create this kind of um, unbreakable bond. Um, and whether that be platonic or, or a, a thing of lovers, mm -hmm. um, 
I think either way they they'll they'll definitely stick together. Yeah. They uh, seem to get each other. Exactly. Which in More this than, world is like once you find somebody who sort of gets right. you. Right. And for and for Prudence especially like, you know, her not having any family, she had the weird sisters, they created their own family, but to have someone be able to understand you at a fundamental level is is important and it's yeah. Let's talk about developing prudence because even talking to you now, your voice is so yeah. different. I mean, there's so <laughs> many things that you had to really create with her. So, how much of that was in the script and how much was well, of that was you just feeling like this is who she is? Um so of course, I mean, the, the her her uh what's the word? Um her spicy uh rebuttals <laughs> yeah like that's obviously like the right all all due to the writers um but I definitely um the embodiment of her the voice and all that was something that I had brought to the character um so you walked into the edition with the accent yes did they think that that was your actual accent did they know no they knew because okay. I mean you know you walk into it on your fish you're like hi how nice to meet you all that so it's like yeah they they knew that that that, that, that wasn't my at least I hope yeah you're so like, surprise right. <laughs> American <laughs> right but it's funny that like now people like don't realize yeah and then they they meet me like or they think that I'm a total bitch and they just don't want to approach me at all um but sorry now I just lost my train of thought yeah, going just what parts of prudence did you create and bring that, that were your own um so yeah so her voice um and her uh, I guess kind of slinky mm -hmm. cat-like nature. I pulled a lot of inspiration um, from Eartha Kitt. Mm. Oh. I love Eartha Kitt. Love Eartha Kitt. She is Catwoman. She's the only Catwoman. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. She like, became a cat. Yes. Like, that's her voice and the way that she talks is just, yeah, like, um, she was, yeah, she was one of my idols growing up. Yeah. Um, and I always pictured Prudence to be this obviously very strong um, woman who is sort of self-made um, and uh, immediately Eartha Kitt came to mind. And so I, I took a lot of her uh, embodiment, not only in uh, like how Prudence carried herself, but down to literally physically the way that she she walked, the way that she she stood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so funny. Eartha Kitt, you, <laughs> you see that clip of her where she's like, I need a man for Compromise what? for what? <laughs> for what? Compromise. <laughs> I literally watch that once a month just to like puff up my chest right. and be like, for what? Right. It's in my saved, um, my <laughs> saved files on Instagram. Like, yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah. for those of who, you who haven't seen it, please. Look it up right now. Right. It'll hype you up so much. Right. <laughs> um, I do love the fans love of Prudence though. Even though she's evil and she's yeah. always trying to like pick on Sabrina, the fans love her yeah. and they love not only the things that she does, but also her look. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's one commenter that said, Prudence is so unnecessarily attractive, I feel attacked. <laughs> that was on Tumblr. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> um, thanks. Um, wow. I know, it's thanks. like it is so great, I feel attacked. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I read that you actually do your own hair and you bring mm. that own kind of flavor to Prudence. Yeah, um, so when I, I walked into my first audition with the finger waves, yeah. um, just because I, I had curly hair at that time and I felt that Prudence was more severe um, and more, uh, more well kempt. Um, so yeah, I uh, I started out doing doing my own finger waves, um, and then part two came, and I asked uh, production if I could shave my head, um, which I second guessed about fifteen minutes before my my haircut. I was like, what did I just do? Why? Like, and I was like, I can't back out now. Okay, let's let's go for it. Um, but yeah, yeah, I um, I've. Pr Throughout the whole, our entire shooting, I did my own hair. I yeah. love that. And I love the presence of that. And you were bold enough to cut your hair. I feel like hey. it's going to be so many Halloween costumes. I can't wait. Like, even, the, like, b right before or when we dropped yep. the first part, like, there were right. tons of cosplay and tons of, like, yeah. costumes. I was like, this is sick. Like, and people would go all out, like, getting wigs, finger-waving the wigs. <laughs> I was like, yes, this is dope. It's a whole vibe. I mean, have you had some fun, like, fan art come to you and just cool? Do you look at that stuff? All of it. I have a whole saved folder on my Instagram of fan art. Um, and I try to respond to as many many people that do the art as possible, like, just saying thank you and, like, this is incredible. Um, the craziest thing that I've seen is someone got a tattoo of me. Um, which like it blew my mind. I was like, wow, I am inked into someone's body forever. Like it, that's, it was just really like truly an honor. Like I was like, wow, like, thank you. I don't even know what I would do. Right. You're like, like, thank you. Are you sure? Right. <laughs> right. I was like, me? Oh, all right, cool. Yeah. I'm curious. We had uh, some of the cast here last mm. week and everybody just seems 
cool and like young and just the vibe seems really positive. Mm. So what has it been like for you to just have kind of your peers and grow into friends on set? It's been amazing. Like, honestly, we have such a blessed experience um, to be able to have gotten so close and so quickly. Like, I've heard so many horror stories of people not getting along with their cast. Um, and it makes the environment on set safe, very feel very safe and, uh, f like, feel very fluid. Um, we, like, we do, like, like jam sessions, like, yeah. in the cast tent and, like, massage circles. And, like, yeah, like... They, I, I've definitely made some lifelong friendships on this show, and it's, it's been a beautiful experience with both cast and crew. Like, yeah. we've truly made a family. When they were here, Jazz and Ross, I guess, recorded a song, and he played a clip of it here. Yeah. And it sounded really good. Yeah. So these jam sessions you guys have are actually jam sessions. Yeah. No. Yeah. They, like, like especially, like, Ross, because, you know, as, yeah. as, as we know, he's part of the driver era and does music. So when he gets to an idea, like, or if we're all, like, and he's, like, yo, yo, I have to capture this. He pulls out his phone immediately and, like, starts recording. So, like, yeah. It sounded good. And now that we know that we're going to get two more parts, um, I feel like we should see that music in there, right? right. It sounds like... Oh, my top. God. Yeah. Especially, like, also now that, like, Roz and Harvey are, like, a thing, they make a little, like, it's so music cute. group. That oh would God, be that so adds cool. another layer right. to it. Right. Oh, the fans would be so happy with that. <laughs> be so excited you know like they give me life jazz and ross are like my everything i love them uh what do you think of the sabrina harvey and then scratch so are you asking me my team harvey or yeah. team nick yeah i'm that was my way of being like what team are you on so and i've talked to both of them about this okay. we have an understanding i personally am team harvey mm. because you know Look at that sweet face. I know, but this face is really hot. <laughs> you're you're out, but see, that's where the trouble comes. Yeah. That's trouble. Well, trouble's good, trouble. though. Trouble. <laughs> 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 no, like, he keeps her grounded. Yeah. He keeps her, like... He excites her. <laughs> <laughs> he excites her in a different way. A boring way. Sort of. I'm obviously on this team. <laughs> I love this dynamic We're so much. On the right side yeah, this is the right side. <laughs> um, so on that note, and we have you know parts three and four will be coming out. Mm. How much do you know about Prudence's arc? I mean, have they told you the end? Um, no, no, I don't know much yet. I'm actually supposed to go um, talk to the writers um, in, in a week or so. Okay. Um, to yeah, to to be able to get get some insight. So I'm really excited to hear what they've got because like. Especially with this like bounty hunter mission, I'm like, right. and do I do I kill my father? Like, do you, do, right. do we like what what happens here? Um, but yeah, what are your hopes for her? Maybe um, I have this like theory that like her mother's still alive mm -hmm. because he, Blackwood never said that she drowned. He never said that she died. He only said she threw herself in a river because I wouldn't marry her. There's a lot of speculation there. And like, you know, there's such thing as like sea witches and sirens and things of that nature. So maybe she just ran off essentially. Like who knows? So I really would love for Prudence to like discover more of her mother's background and how that is a part of herself. Um, and yeah, see herself, see her grow into herself more and um, uh, establish her own, um, her own sense of self worth and presence, even at like out like away from the weird sisters and and how she copes with that, um, yeah, um, and see how uh, uh, she fares without having a faith anymore because I feel like that's something that she obviously heavily relied on and guided her through life. Um, but yeah, more than anything, I really want to see either her find her mother. Or like to just discover what that is and and how far that can go as far as like the different types of magic and um, different types of culture that like you can go into with that. Totally. Yeah, that's funny. You you're talking about the self discovery thing, and in my head, I'm like, oh well, like she's 17, like everybody, but really she's in her 70s, right. or 80s, exactly. or something. Exactly. Right. So she's like having this new chapter in her life, which is even more exciting given that she's so much older. Right. Like which which I think is the kind of the beautiful thing about witches is like. Well, one, they have so many midlife crises because they live for so long. But it's like they have so much time to rediscover themselves and to and like as a human, like, you know, people think like, well, who wants to live forever? But it's like there could be benefit in that. And, and just 
uh, starting a new life like every hundred years and right like right why not like to see a different perspective to 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 appreciate the world like it just in a different way like so yeah it's really cool and I think that's one of the fun things about Sabrina is that there's just so many different ways to explore right. these themes um you were also on the 100 and I just want to know like how different are those two shows for you very right uh, very different and how yeah. do, is your approach different like your process different um definitely I, I like Gaia um on the 100 is I think a lot closer to who I am personally and naturally um so uh when getting into her it's not as much of a of a stretch right. um but as with prudence it's like I I go through a whole like meditation and and try to really like call her spirit from the ether. I'm very spiritual in the way that I like approach my characters, mm -hmm. but like, and I treat them as if they're like a soul in the universe yeah. and they just need a vessel and I'm that vessel to, to take on. So with Prudence, I, it definitely takes a lot more for me to, to go in, into that as, as opposed to, to Gaia. Um, I love that. So you actually do like a, your own little ritual before you become Prudence. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, cool. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, because I, and I and I felt that I had to do that because it's like it's really hard for me to be like mean. <laughs> <laughs> and so like, yeah, I had to like do something to kind of strip myself away entirely. Um, and yeah. 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 You don't give me dark. Thanks. Right. So did, did you, did you like, <laughs> as you like, she's so adorable. Um, so did, were you, are, do you watch Sabrina? Like, is it scary for you? Cause you don't, do you oh, like horror stuff? N okay, no, yeah. big fun fact. I am the most, ter I can't even watch a trailer to a horror film, cool. like without having two weeks worth of nightmares, running through the house, through the dark, like a ninja, like terrified. Right. Um, and the first, I remember when we were doing our screenings um, the, during the first part um, before it aired, terrified when we watched the the exorcist the exorcism episode dude i was sitting in that screening room i think uh i think chance's mom was in town during that and i'm like in her shoulder like i can't i started crying <laughs> it was, it's really embarrassing yeah i said like it was a whole thing like i did the first time i met the dark lord i had to touch his costume Aww. To like, I'm very, I'm very much a little kid, guys. It's not, it's not. Like a, it's a problem, right? Like, I'm, fan, I like, it's, I'm getting stronger though. It's, this has helped. <laughs> this show is actually pretty scary. Yeah, I mean, there are definitely scenes where I'm. I don't like scary stuff either, so I definitely like... This is, like, borderline. It's not too bad, yeah. but there's moments that get me, so I applaud your bravery. Thank you. For being on that set. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know we do have an audience question really quick before okay. we get out of here, so who do we have? Hi, my Hi. name is Dangeling. I wanted to ask you, being as your personality is so different from Putin's, mm -hmm. was there any moment for you or any scene where it was kind of hard to shake her off? Um... I think that definitely throughout the, the throughout the process entirely, um, I I like about halfway through I had to start developing ways when I went home to let go of all of that. Like I remember there was a point of time in like for about a month I'd say where like I f I was getting like snappy with people and I was like, oh no I don't like that I don't like that. Um, and so I, yeah I I developed like. Yeah, ways to, to, to wash that out and keep that out of my own spirit. Because I, yeah, I don't want to, I like my light. I don't want to turn that dark. Um, so, yeah, yeah, definitely. It, it was it was difficult. You just cover yourself in sage like every I day. I sage my room. You would have to. Yeah. You're like actually reciting stuff. Real Spell, yeah. yeah, like um, the that burial episode, us nope. like yeah. yeah, taking out Agatha, terrified in those woods, terrified. Like we like prayed beforehand, <laughs> like was like nah, man, we're calling some dark forces here. We this is this is creepy. Yeah, uh, I love that. Well, this has been so much fun, and it's so fun to meet the real Tati, but you are so good at being bad on this <laughs> show. You. We you. love Prudence. If you guys want to check out part two of The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, it is streaming now and it is so binge-worthy. Check it out. Give it up for Tati Gabriel. Thank you.